Okay, today I'm going to be putting a broken light bulb in my vacuum chamber to see if it will still work. So the reason I'm doing this is because normally incandescent bulbs like this, they're either under vacuum or have a small amount of inert gas in them so that the filament here doesn't oxidize and burn away. So I'm guessing that if I put it in my vacuum chamber and suck out all the air, I'll be able to turn it on and it should light normally. But I'm not sure if that will happen, so there's only one way to find out. Let's put it in the vacuum chamber and see if we can light it. Okay, so how I'm getting power into my vacuum chamber is a little bit dangerous, but I've done it before, didn't kill myself before. So I've got both of my leads coming out of my socket here, and they are connected. So I have one lead connected to my gas inlet and outlet, and the other lead connected to my gauge back here. And then on the inside, I have these white leads connected on the inside of the vacuum chamber. And then those are connected to my light bulb plug. Okay, so before we do it in the vacuum, we're gonna do an in-air test as our control to see what happens. I'm expecting that this burns out almost immediately. Okay, broken light bulb in air. Three, two, one. Whoa, that actually lit for a while. <laughs> so I expect that to last longer in a vacuum. Okay, first let's pump down our chamber. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the vacuum. Let's flip on the power, see what happens. Broken light bulb in a vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> it's working. Oh, and that was it. <laughs> wow. Look at this ring of smoke. Let's turn off the power. Okay, so after both our tests, I'm actually surprised how long the one in air lasted. The one in the vacuum didn't actually last that much longer. Uh, I did notice one thing though. I noticed the filament, these are the exact same light bulbs, but the filament in the one I used in air was a lot thicker, and the filament I used in the vacuum chamber was a lot thinner. Uh, you can see, you can barely see it. I don't know why there's that big of a difference between the two, but that could have been a factor. But either way, the one in the vacuum did burn out pretty quickly. It lasted longer, but not as long as I thought it would. So it's actually pretty impressive. So this is a pretty low vacuum in here. It's pretty impressive that light bulbs stay lit as long as they do. That shows you how well engineered they are to not have any excess oxygen in there so that it can't oxidize. Hey, thanks for watching another episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed yet, consider subscribing for more action in the future. And you can leave me some comments in the comments section with what you'd like to see me do next, and I'll see you next time.